the casket of Master Sergeant Nicholas Oresco was taken from a military vehicle past a line of veterans and dignitaries who paid their final respects to the World War II hero. What so we the funeral service for Oresco was held inside a theater at Bergen Community College. Military officials and friends talked about the remarkable life and bravery of the Jersey native who was born in Bayonne in 1917. Our country has lost a great American patriot, a decorated combat warrior. We have lost a very dear friend. And we are all better today for having known Nick Oresco. He proved he was a fighter through and through, a true American hero who did not let anything hold him back, especially on that fateful day in January 1945. It was on that bitter cold day in Germany in the final stages of the Battle of the Bulge that Oresco planned a sneak attack on the Germans. He ordered the platoon to move, but no one moved. I yelled again, come on, let's go. Again, nobody moved. And I felt so alone. Alone but not deterred, he charged forward and took out one machine gun position. He was wounded but didn't stop. He crawled to the enemy pillbox bunker through deep snow. He pulled a pin on a grenade, counted to four, threw the grenade in the bunker. It exploded. And he immediately jumped into that pillbox bunker, killing all the enemy soldiers. His bravery that day earned him the Medal of Honor, the nation's highest award for valor. Fellow recipients say the honor is fitting for Oresco, known for his signature bow tie and warm smile. It would be nice as Brian Williams, NBC News says, if all the kids knew about Nick Oresco's story and had baseball cards with Nick Oresco's picture on it, uh, there's a real model for young kids that when, about service sacrifice, patriotism, and diligence. After leaving the Army, Oresco worked for the Department of Veteran Affairs. A school in Bayonne is named after him. He died on October 4th, but his legacy lives on. Another example of what made the greatest generation so great. For NJ Today, I'm Desiree Taylor in Paramus.